nine months old or something like that and I, I, I contracted a very hectic um, bone marrow disease. It was like this thing called osteomyelitis was eating away my bone marrow. And at that time, like not too many people had ever even heard of this disease before. So they had a tough time treating it because they didn't know what it was and they didn't know how to cure it. So I was almost like the, uh, like the poster boy or like the guinea pig for this kind of, of, of procedure. As far as my older brother was concerned, when it came to me, he, he very um, like he doted over me a lot as an older brother. He was always concerned about me and later on in life, he actually became um, my biggest fan actually. So there was no like, um, oh, he got that or I got that or anything like that. He was always very much uh, concerned about me and you know, he always wanted the best for me. So whenever I play or compete or whenever I'm on TV or whatever the case may be, He's always there, you know, and he's always in the front row and he's always been anything other than the, you know, the, the quintessential big brother sort of holding his little brother and pulling him along. And uh, because we never really got the respect, you know, sometimes from behind the bar, you would, you would give it almost as good as you got it, you know, and uh, this, I'll read you a million training manuals that say that the customer is always right and, you know, it doesn't matter what they say, you know, you've got to do this and that and whatever. And I, I never never ever approached bartending in that way you know i always thought look i am i'm a pro at what i do in fact you know i'm probably more learned at what i do than you are at whatever it is you do you know and you know i'm not gonna um, disrespect you because you're an accountant and you know i expect you not to disrespect me because i'm a bartender you know but now all of a sudden bartenders are thinking of ways in which the the, the processes of making drinks in their bars how they can um, redirect that to impact their community and positively uplift a portion of their community, whether it was for me through the homeless or for him helping the bees, you know, that, that, that sort of thing. So bartenders are actually carrying this, this mantra of being philanthropists in their community because of...